Hey everybody, I'm Ronnie Satmeyer, Big Bang Audio. I'm locked down and doing uh, some studio stuff, like a lot of people. I'm seeing a lot of people streaming stuff live and um, using OBS. And I started following some stuff, whether it was on um, the user group for UED or Reaper or home recording or, I don't know, different forums or on Facebook. Um, and I saw a couple of people talking about some things that related to the issues I was having for a long time now. My main issue is I started using OBS to do my tutorials to screen grab. And I wanted to record, you know, my doll into it. And I wanted to record my voice into it and then just lock the camera to that. Of course, the camera is recording audio um, just good enough so I can do a slate, a clap or whatever. But every time I did a vocal, a voiceover, and OBS, it would crackle. Like there's a driver problem or a clocking sound, you know, you get. But the audio for playback of my music sounded great. So I couldn't figure it out. And you see here on the screen, ignore all this, but there's desktop audio, which is like your normal Windows sounds, which all my Windows sounds are turned off. And then I was actually trying to use this mic input, because that's what I thought you were supposed to use. That was crackling. Then I saw everybody talking about ASIO Link, a rare old software where the designer passed away, so it hasn't been really updated. And I just heard about it yesterday. So I downloaded it, followed all the tips. It's a little confusing looking, but it, it, it makes sense. I set everything up. And basically what that thing does is it's replacing this driver here that you have by default in Windows. You have your sound here. I am, um, that's not the right place. Um, it may not show it now. Yeah, maybe it doesn't show. See, it, it says no device because I disabled it um, because I did everything they told me to do and it still didn't work. I still had the crackling. It still just wasn't working. I figured out my own working thing that maybe everyone else has figured out and I was too dumb to figure out before, but I finally figured it out. And what it is, uh, I had a, I'm going to ignore all this stuff on the top here. This bottom used to be just called ASIO. And uh, it's, it's now, I, I labeled it DAW, but it's basically, you get different ASIO inputs that you can select, and I didn't know that. I'm seeing this box here, and I'm assuming OBS just has this set up, and you, you can route things to it. I can go in here, and I can click on properties, and I can tell it, you know, it's my speakers are going out to Thunderbolt. Um, this mic input, I was clicking on advanced properties. I was going in here, telling it what I wanted it to be. Everything was working, but it was crackling. Then the there was latency. Of course, I'm not wearing headphones, so I didn't, it didn't matter. But as I was experimenting with that whole, this doll audio thing, I realized when I clicked on it and went to properties, it was telling me it's already, that's my Thunderbolt and it's stereo and I'm using virtual channels, which I, I already knew. Um, let me drag this over for my other monitor. Um, go to the end. There it is. I labeled it doll. That's, that's, you know, my playback of my doll on Reaper for my videos. So then it dawned on me and I don't know why I never thought of it. There's my voiceover. I did the, just this. Click this and I'm used to clicking display capture when I want to set up what I'm doing right now is capturing the screen. But if you go to the top and you select ASIO and I can say test two, it creates this little area and I can go in here and select, you know, I can route it from Reaper, but I'm using Thunderbolt and there's stereo. There's all my IO. I can do mono, which I did my voiceover as, and just pick a mic and I can pick several mics. I can set up several of these and have different line, like almost like a podcast. Um, I never knew that was there, but by doing that, you're bypassing the windows stuff that that ASIO link software that everyone's going crazy for. Cause I think the link was down. You couldn't find it. Now, now I found it and you can use it, but you really don't even need to use that. You can just go over here and set up your, especially on Thunderbolt. I don't know how it works with the USB version. Um, but now it's simple. And now my audio is coming through. Um, and I was using, um, this, I was going to a laptop with my audio interface just to record my vo voice because I couldn't deal with this crackling. Then I picked up the Tascam DA60, or not DA60, just D60. Sounds good. 
but it was just recording my vocals, so it's Mike Priest. And, um, you know, I had to dump, I had to take it out, put it into Reaper, process my voice, cut any noise out or, you know, speaker bleed as I'm talking over top of my music or whatever. And then locking all that to everything in DaVinci. This trims so much time down because now I'm just going straight into a set of tracks on our mono track and OBS. Another stereo pair is doing my DAW playback and i um, kind of processing a little bit going in. I'm just using the Neve 88 channel just to do some EQing. I'm actually gating as you see. The room just self idling and outside noise. And that's with the gate on. And I did a little EQ. After that, just to fatten my voice up because the mic's at a distance, obviously. Um, and then uh, I put a little bit of a limiter on it just in case I clap or something. And that's it. So my voice is being processed going in now. I don't have to do it as much. And in DaVinci, I can clean up any noise if there, if, but anybody else who's probably, I've seen a lot of people having different problems. It seems like we all have unique problems for our own systems. Some guys will tell you to do something that works perfect. And three other guys will jump in and say it worked perfect for them. And then four other guys come in and say it didn't work for them. I was one of the guys that didn't work well with ASIO link. And I'm kind of glad because I found this by accident and this is much better and does exactly what I wanted to do. And I'm not running through some weird driver and whatever. So that's how you do it. Click this little thing down here, click ASIO, name it something, and then just select your driver inside of there and boom, you're good to go. So um, I can get back to work on some other videos now. And this video you're watching now is the first one where I'm doing the voiceover through the OBS. So awesome. Thanks again for watching. Please hit subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks.